Oh shit. Why did you do that? Pets. Why did you what do that? Pets? What the Pets. <laughs> Enjoy that. <laughs> oh there was a flash! Hey, there was, there was a, a flash. A flash. <laughs> <laughs> when three survivors ventured out from a starting asteroid with no supplies, built a wonky ship, and then ended up all dying when they tried to move it. It was called the Joint Survival. Available in a bookstore near you. Anyway, let's get building. All right. <laughs> right. What okay. we got? To, what have we got to do here now? So we've got to rearm the turrets, pipe them up. We've got a funky doorway there. We've got some stairways to stick in, and then we're pretty much ready to go. But saying that, we shouldn't really go anywhere until we've made sure this thrusters um, in every direction. Yeah you're, yeah, you're talking about. Then we're pretty much ready to go, and we got. Next to no thrusters in most directions. Right, well, I want. I, I think we can get this done by the end of the episode, definitely. You really think so? Yeah, of course yeah, we can. Have this if, ship if, very if, we, if, if we all prioritize things, right, instead of building, like, things aboard the ship and we build all the things to get the ship moving, say, for instance, we sort out thrusters in all directions, we sort out a reasonable power source that I think might have already been done, and then we wire up things, we should be able to get it at least moving. I don't know what you guys think. Uh, okay. Because I, I mean, feel I, like you just get it moving, we can have a funky husk floating. Yeah. Well, I think we should get it moving, um, in in a in a sensible manner, um, just in case the drones decide to pop along, and then we can at least get out of there. Because I knew Scott was going to try to actually work on the 3D printer, but I thought if he does that, we might be stuck here forever, and he can work on that while we're in transit. Yeah, um, true. Uh, is it, anything that can be worked on in transit should be really saved for the moment so we can just get the hell out Do of here. Do we really know what can be worked on in transit given how unstable the game can be at times so? though? True, true, but I, there is safer ways to travel, i.e. the jump drive that needs to be fitted. Definitely needs to be right. fitted. Yeah, we need to can we, have our, can we have our own special room for the jump drive, please? Because that would just be like a shrine um, a shrine to the jump drive. I'm going to come inside. Where? Well, that's the problem. Where are we going to put it in the ship? Just... I'm not... Well, didn't you cut out a load of cargo containers? Couldn't we, like, have that as the shrine to the jump, jump drive? It's the living area. That's true course. Yes, but like can, can't, can't yeah. it be, like, in a big piece of glass in the middle? Because I think this area... You see where I'm standing now, Sage? Oh, Scott. Um, we could glass over this bit, so there's a glass area to look down below. Well, get rid of the fence. Uh, yeah. Up to well. about here. Then we we separate this, you know, into a separate room where this, mm -hmm. uh, this sentence here. Then that separate room could technically ha house... The, the hyperdrive, and then we separate this into a second room, and then obviously that area then leads up to the staircase, and then a main reactor room at the back. I don't know Holy, okay. I just put. I was just looking at the size. I forgot how big this thing is. It's big, isn't it? It's nice. We can put one in sideways right here. Well, let's 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 just prioritize things. Who's gonna to help do the thrusters? Yeah, that could go in there. I don't like it there. No, neither do I actually. Um, I'm just hmm. trying. Um, I don't know about breaking these off into different rooms. I was just going to pressurize this whole sector. Is just okay, like okay. Because I'm just saying, area. if it one bit breaks, then you've got all the. I know. Then it's all depressurized. So it probably is wise to have some sort of seal and door. Okay. Okay. But, anyway, well, I'll I'll do the paths and then. So so who's doing somewhere. the wiring? Sage is doing the wiring. Are we going to do the thrusters then, Scott? Why Sage is doing that? If you want, I yes. think we need to uh, because otherwise right. it's going to be a bit pointless having a there ship that just looks thing nice. I was thinking of, we've still a lot of resources in the base we could use. Yes, very. Oh, I like the idea of jump drives. They're pretty cool, aren't they? To top around. Very enjoyable to mess around with. It can't be weaponized. Seems to be a little bit of. They can uh, be weaponized. We can't really get that accurate. Mm. You can What's your idea with weaponizing? Oh, okay, okay. You jump inside the asteroid? No, no, no. You can't. There's no, you get you build yourself a guided right. missile, right? You do the whole small ship, large ship treat or cheat. You teleport it through, timer block, disconnects it from the jump drive, and goes off to the target. Okay, that's just a guided missile, basically, and you're just jumping in yes. there and letting it go. You, you still just... have to jump with it, though. No, 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 no. Can't you just hop out? Oh, uh, yeah, you can top out, I guess. Is that but that's an awfully large waste. A whole jump drive you're sending just to fire a single missile? No, you could send. No, think about it this way. You could send a whole barrage of missiles with a single jump drive, and then as soon as they get across, they just detach, fly off, and the next minute you've got 600 whatever spamming missiles hey, you can, coming you at you. You can get close to target, but I'm talking about like jumping into a target. No, I tried it and tested it on my update video. Couldn't do it. And how close is it to actually be able uh, to jump? You jump a thousand the, meters. Yeah, the the closest the closest I got to the actual point was seven hundred and thirty nine meters when I tested it. I think. 
that's, that's reasonably close to it is but the thing is though as well is i tried this as well coming through the portal you know at speed to see if i could just appear in it because i'd be going that fast but the thing is you come out the direction you're facing and it's not always in line with the actual point itself so yeah so it's it's not going to give someone be able to jump right in a target and unleash no, no, as much as it would be cool, I, you, you won't be able to. I think it's worth it not doing it, just to save on the grief that could cause. Yeah, think about that, jumping inside someone's ship, that'd be horrible. You'd have these little termite ships that just appear inside your ship with explosives. And it's just as it is. That was the, you know, to be honest though, that really was the first thing. All of a sudden. That was the first thing I actually thought of. <laughs> well, it kind of reminds me of uh, Battlestar Galactica. Still struggling to find a room for the jump drive. Talking about it now, I, I, I tried to look upstairs, but I could cut away too much and realise that you couldn't get outside, so I put it back in place. Okay, that is as much out of the asteroid as I can get through the piping system because the oxygen's not connected to the piping for some reason. Just no crash has got all our resources. What? <laughs> no, I'm just joking. There's that, and then he'll he can barely lie. move as well because he's that over cucumbered. Cucumbered. That's what cucumbered. I used to call it, overcumbered, over cucumbered. Mm. My daisy days are right there summed up. Yeah, it's now become like a part of my life now that I've been playing Ark. Alright, cucumbered. And um, let's go. That is now my life. Is that you're over encumbered? No. I, I see. I don't dare go back to that because I used to play Daisy like ridiculously too much, and I just I, reg I I don't regret it, but it was just way too. I spent so much time in that game. Yeah, my problem with Daisy was always uh, trying to meet up with people. It was always someone for sniper. He was like, "Yay, okay, you're one side of the island, I'm the other." We spend an hour running to each other to one of us gets a snipe. Hmm. Well, it's, it's one of the risks, isn't it? You take. It's part of the game. I have to admit, I did like it when I was with a big group and we were armed to the nines. See, when I tried it recently, um, in the first ten minutes, I'd killed, <laughs> I'd killed two people with a forty-four magnum. That were fully armed, so I was just like, "Yeah, this is yeah." Monster, but monster. The thing is, people get really pissy in that game. Though, it's like, "Oh, you you killed a guy and you didn't say hello to him." The thing is, I learned the hard way, right? If you start saying hello to people, you die fast. The yeah. way the hello. way of doing it is, you kill everyone yeah. you meet, and since when you play that way, you don't die because everyone's dead and you're alive. Wow, such a wonderful experience. No, no, I played it the other way. I played it the other way for quite a while, and I got killed so much. I got to a stage where you get converted. The you don't. But the, the, the rule up. is: the rule is you don't go out your way to kill people. If someone tries to kill you, you kill them. If they're in your way, you kill them. But yeah, you just you just <laughs> see them go hi, uh, take that gun, go away. Uh, like just, the no, like you never give the rule. Like, the rule that I, I, I have as well. I live by in that game. Never give people guns. Give people food. Don't get distracted and don't get baited by them to stand around while the friend picks you off with a sniper rifle from 100 meters away. Yeah. Oh, that sounds amazing, doesn't it? Um, a small mining ship. With a jump drive, you just jump to the asteroids, mine, jump back. Yeah, we could actually use that to go get ice. Yeah. Before we well, run. uranium, we're going to need uranium. Like, I think there's a small amount of uranium in that asteroid. Yeah. Sure, it was near it. The, uh... You can find some, please do. I don't want us running out. Right, I'm going to oh. go and grab the mining ship and do a little test conversion. Oh. All right. I'm waiting for someone to break the code so you can actually jump into the asteroids. Someone will do it. Yeah, but... Uh, <laughs> Having a hidden base that you can only access. That's what I was talking. That's talk talk exactly that about that. Quite cool. It's a cool idea, but it's just it, it logical. I like the only th other thing is jump drive. Right, you know when you access it, do you actually travel through space or do you disappear and teleport? It's and then, disappear and teleport. It, I mean, now I know there's no realistic way of setting it, but if it was a more realistic, would you just travel flat out in a straight line, or would you like travel, you know, and sort of? Go off on it depends on your belief in what sci-fi no would work. You know, you are just talking fantasy now. There's only one way this can end well, and even better. Oh, you're glitching it. Why? I'm not no, glitching that, it. Aaron, no, the idea was you could disconnect and still use the mining ship to mine. Yes. How can you mine with the huge block? I park of still. You can you disconnect. Can thing off. Yeah, they can oh, disconnect yeah, can. rotors. Sorry, I am an idiot. If th if this works, we have just made history. All right, Sage, right. we've got two first, the two credits uh, here. Yeah, hold steady. I'm trying to see if because it started around the time the solar panel kerfuffle started, didn't it? Yeah, no, no, no. This is gonna work. Amazing. I'm more just a little worried when you disconnect the rotor, it's gonna start drifting off the crazy. No, because I'm no, because I'm gonna stick it to a, an asteroid. That's why the landing gear's here. 
ingenious, eh? Isn't it? Actually giving you creative. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, there is one thing that would have made a mega mistake if I didn't lock the rotor, so I'm going to do that now. <laughs> this thing just oh. starts spinning. Uh, I'm you know... I was just thinking the jump drive would disappear and your ship just... Whoa! <laughs> okay, yeah. it, it's a lot more complex than it needs to be because you don't really need that rotor. All you need is a landing gear on that small ship and then a small cockpit. Yeah, but we know what landing gear is like. Thing. Oh, I can yes, but you're or... adding a landing gear as it is now. Right, we're going to jump it. Three, two... Oh, what's going on? Fuck! Hold on. Aaron. Hold on, maybe. Oh, I know, I know. Hold on. Let me just try this this way. Owner. No, it's owner's Scotch Dragon. That won't make any difference. All right, see if it'll jump Oh now. my god, we're imbeciles. Why? It's a station. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> we so oh no. <laughs> we're trying to jump a station, that's why. Oh. Oh. Well done, okay, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Bring the mining ship down. Bring the mine. <laughs> so we could have jumped here in the first place with the little ship. We didn't even need any of that. I was wondering why it Possibly. wasn't working. Possibly. Oh god. Okay, hold on then. Oh, oh my god. So we need to rebuild the roar. Yeah. Again, I still see we're gonna be able to connect her, but okay, <laughs> Sage, were you like frustratingly looking through the buttons just to explain your face and your opinion, how you're feeling of what happened then? <laughs> Did your eyes well, roll was, that far back into your head? Yeah, I just imagined I was, it. It was more of, I just rem realized that, wait a minute, we never converted this to a ship, I bet you. Sure enough, you have to convert the ship button. <laughs> not converted us yet. Yeah. Right, okay, I need you on the, the attach command, alright? Okay, I'm pressing it, it's gonna do it! <gasps> it's gonna do it from the ship below? Whoa. Right, okay. Work. Here we it's go! Okay. I, hear, I hear it charging. Here we go, we're gonna jump it! Is anyone on the seat above? No one wants to jump with me? Oh, damn it. Oh, what happened? What happened when I disappeared? You just you vanished. Just disappeared. Oh, no okay. Flash. They need to add a flash. Hey, you lied, there's no ice out here. I'm just in the middle of no- Oh, maybe the ice block's a bit further away. Oh. Well, I'm still at the docking stage at the moment. Oh, I thought you were undocking. Well, that's what I'm doing, undocking. Oh, isn't it just a simple singular button press? It is, but I'm trying to, I'm connecting it oh, up. lock it against an asteroid. Right. Yes, so I don't lose it. Yeah, because, again, that's the only reason I suggest the connector, because you can have that magnetic pull it does. Well, that just causes it to fly off. Mm, probably. Alright, another thruster done. Oh, come on, we're almost there. So that's just got back and forth, then we just have to look at left and right. Landing gear. Yes, we're safely done. Okay, and then we just need to detach our rotor. Detach. We're detached. Disconnecting. God damn it. We're disconnected. <laughs> <gasps> We've done it. Okay, good stuff, good stuff. Uh, construction components again. Do we have no construction components anymore? Uh, they're all with me because I queued up like an absolute ton of them. Let's have a go. <sighs> all right. But I will come back and drop some off because I don't need as many. Is there ice on that tip? Please if actually put them in main storage. Yeah, if you want to queue up for me, but uh, loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of thruster components, I will then dump off half my. Uh, uh, also, well, thruster components have been queued up, but we're out of. Oh god, everything. this is where. This is what. But now we are the problem. Aaron may have done something silly as well. He may have headed out yes. here without enough oxygen. Oh, oh my lord god. The mission to cut the trip short and jump back. Yes, yes. Make sure, is there an oxygen generator in that ship? Um, no. no. The only ship with a oxygen generator is mine. All right. Didn't I install an oxygen generator in that ship? Double check. Oh shit, I don't know if I'll be able to jump back. No, you installed it in uh, Cannibal. No, no, it wasn't the cannibal. Because I was out there, and I remember I had that terrible accident where, like, yeah, no, you did the also generate. It's not, it's not got a tank. It's just got a generator. So Aaron needs to go get. Uh, yeah, ice but he's at the ice thing, so as he yes. mines ice, turn on the, the oxygen generator if it's off, and you should be able to gain. Oh yes, Tess, I turned it on. I turned it on. What's going on? <gasps> oh, it's charging. Yes, I can stay out here. There we go. Great job, oh, great work. Solved. Great work. Right. Okay. Uh, 
Careful there, Aaron. Very smooth, very gentle little movements. And that should be about it. Hop out of that. Go up to the item above. Select it, this guy. And now just a gentle attach motion. Yeah, I've got a ship kind of down to bare Beautiful. bones. Beautiful. We're attached. We're ready to jump back. So it's I'm going to get off this. The, the, uh... Oh shit, that was worrying. Okay, we're all attached. We're coming. I'm coming home. I'm bringing it home, guys. Right, jump drives. I'm coming home. Select. Okay, destination home. Selected. Oh. Um, jump in. Bugger. Okay. What? Bugger. Jumping in nine, eight. Powering up. Oh, this is so epic. Ah! Bugger. Right, coming back. Don't be Stop. aware of jumping. What's happened? After that, well, I'm not after the back. Alright, I'm back. I can fix it. I can fix it! You may have seen where I've jumped. I've jumped 800 meters away from you. Wait. Alright, heading back up. There's only one way of balancing out the, the tipping problem. And that's the best thing to do is just get up to a bit of speed. And um, what's that? Uh, you get Detail. up to a bit of speed. And Aaron's just wrecked the tipping process. Thank you, don't die. Yeah, Aaron, you just get up to a bit of speed and then you just start tapping the thrust and then just tap it ever so gently. Hello, tappy tappy. Jump, jump, bum, bum, bum. Yeah. Give me a countdown, Scott. Mm -hmm. Jump drive. Ice. Push it, ace. And. Pardon me. Oh, wait, it's like a dice, so hopefully this works. I'll double check that, so. Jump drive. Ace is. Select. Oh, that would help us select it. Okay. Hit the button. Jump to ace. Oh, shit. Why did you do that? Cats. Why did you what do that? Cats. What the hell? <laughs> Enjoy that. <laughs> oh, there was a flash! Yeah, there was a flash. <laughs> No, it's like you know what reprogrammed him to like the other side of the galaxy. <laughs> <laughs>